Hello everyone, welcome to External Star Channel, my name is Marek as you already know and today I will be commenting on this world's most expensive toy car in the world, a video made by Supercar Blondie. So let me just What's up guys, Supercar Blondie here. This is the most expensive model car in the world. No, it's not the most expensive car model car in the world. Actually, when you check this list uh, of 10 most expensive model cars ever made, it starts with a model which costs 13,000 and it goes down up to this number two Lamborghini Aventador for 6 million euro. So it's this one actually. It's gold plated and uh, it, it looks not that nice maybe, uh, but it's real gold. So of course this is like 6 million uh, doll, dollar, no here it's, it says euro. And then we have number one uh, Lamborghini Aventador gold for 7.5 million. So this is this one. Okay, so this is uh, pure gold. 1 to 8 scale, it looks also great. Uh, can I see it here in a little bit better? Okay, so this is uh, 7.5 million and this is the most expensive. So not this Cullinan, okay? There's the real Cullinan. Yeah, we know. And this is the exact replica. Of I'm course. Show you all of its cool details. Nice wheels in the end. Yeah, I like those wheels so much. Uh, shiny, polished. Wow, this is great. Starting with this Rolls Royce logo. Look at that detail there. It's just a regular Rolls Royce logo. I don't see anything special on that. All my models have uh, a nice logo. So, wow. Open her up. And then you got to see this as this comes down. Wow. It's actually a similar mechanism like on my recent review of this uh, Lexus SUV. Uh, it's exactly the same. I don't see so many differences. This is the luggage space here in the back. And it's even got the glass divider here. The glass divider is nice, but it's just, uh, you know, this piece is not that expensive. And um, many models have it. And then you've got this. And this is the ugly remote control. It looks like a cheap iPhone replica, but instead of some nice buttons, you have just plastic buttons. I would expect, you know, some fancy, uh, I don't know, metallic uh, chrome buttons, maybe uh, aluminum, but here you have just, everything is so plastic and ugly. This is the remote control. Just before we get to that, the starting price is $17,000, but this one here is worth around $40,000. Don't be so surprised. I said $40,000. It, it would make something like number six or seven on this list. Yeah, so even this Datsun is $80,000 uh, euro. So... <laughs> It's not the world's most expensive model. Please stop lying us. Now, depending on what you want to get, how bespoke you want this model car, the price can just go up from there. Like say if you want little diamonds in the headrest. Who knows, Maybe right? with diamonds, Whatever it would be like more expensive. That way. If you have a blue Cullinan with say cream interior, you can get a blue model Cullinan with a cream interior. It's the exact replica of your car. Actually, we can do it with any model, so I can just uh, buy a paint and then spray my model completely and I can do it like for $50 completely end to end and I will have my own color. We're gonna open up the car. Let's open it with this unlock button here. This ugly unlock button, look at it again. It's so ugly when it's plastic. As I said, I would expect uh, polished aluminum here, but not plastic buttons. Ready? The lights come Ooh, on. The light there. The door handles in the interior. Ah, the door <laughs> handles. Look at it. Now she's pointing at this. This is the biggest mistake on this model, I think. 
one door handle is a little bit upwards and this one is shifted downwards so there is a huge difference here it's not in a line at all it's like five millimeters maybe one centimeter wow that's a huge difference so these lights come on underneath you know there are lights beneath but i don't care too much about the lights because all my attention is actually drawn by this difference here between the door handles i can't stand it i don't have ocd but if i had i would be already crazy crazy like and if we open up the door here these lights in the ceiling come on too oh it's blue again i don't like blue beautiful now the front of the car the front With of the this car button here mm -hmm. the headlights are going to go on this ugly button the daylights and then if you look here there's a tiny little Rolls-Royce logo. Is it tiny little? No, I think it's quite huge. And we're going to turn on the low beams and the high beams. Mm, not bad. Now look at the front. So I always start with the front and here I think I need to make some comments here. This front grille is amazing. It's perforated. You can see what is behind. Very nice. It's all shiny, polished. And here we have all the air intakes, um, all the grills, little tiny ones, the license plate and the lights. Wow. Everything is perfect, I would say. If I just saw this car, this model car, then I would say it's the real car because you really can't say the difference. Isn't that special? Look at the spirit of ecstasy here. How detailed that is. Uh, this spirit of ecstasy logo or emblem is actually not that detailed. It's actually the same like on all my Kyoshio diecast Rolls Royce models. It's the same quality, no difference. You've even got a front sensor. Oh, front sensor. It's exactly the same as the front on this Cullinan. Look at this uh, real Cullinan. Here, uh, all the grills are uh, maybe plastic and gray. Also, here, in the sides it's gray but then when we switch Every back to this one it's black actually here it's black the front grill here or this small grill it's also black so it's not really uh, the same color sometimes here, it's different the pops up. And you can open that all the way to reveal the engine the v12 engine 6.75 liter twin turbo v12 rolls royce engine if you didn't this know this was a model great. car you'd think you were actually looking at a real rolls royce engine That's i how agree this is. it's really detailed mad 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 i like this front right. view there are over a thousand handmade components wow 1000 components so for example my cmc uh, sorry cmc pullman has 1500 and it was less than 1000 dollars in this car over a thousand all right just repeat it one more time over a thousand suicide door nice door and just to give you an idea of the detail what is here, that? there is an embossed spirit of oh, ecstasy on the door panel. A bespoke Rolls-Royce audio system. Oh, oh, that feels so good to touch. Okay, so maybe let's go one step back. I really love those speakers. Uh, maybe they used photo etched technology to produce them. It's, I think, metal. But here, this emblem or logo or spirit of ecstasy, it looks like a mistake, a flaw or imperfection here. If I just saw this, I would say somebody who's who was working on those door panels made a mistake here. It doesn't remind me of any logo. It just looks like, you know, they just played a bad game with this uh, material. A bespoke Rolls-Royce, exactly okay. like the one in a real Rolls-Royce. You've even yeah. got a little replica umbrella here. Umbrella. Why is the umbrella not the out? Back, I'm just gonna try and squeeze this phone in here so you can see the air conditioning oh. vents <laughs> i think it's too many lights everywhere it's distracting and the detail on those toggles isn't that incredible all the little writing off soft medium high it's all hand done you've even got movable seat belts oh movable that. seat belt look at that all my models have a movable seat belt it's no surprise but here 
uh, the seat, I think it's not real leather. You know, it, it looks like plastic, it's nice, but what I would like to have in such a Cullinan, which costs that much money, I would like to see real leather seats, like in some of 1 to 18 models. Alright, this is cool. What is cool? When we open the front door here, look at all the lights. All the lights. In the interior. I'm just going to turn that uh, off and then on again so you can see. I already said it's too many lights. For example, here on the door panel, why there are five lights? I don't like it that much. Isn't that incredible? Not incredible. For example, here also too many lights. I like how the cluster, clusters and couches, how this is uh, with lights. I like it. But for example, those five lights on the door panels, the not that much. You can even see those individual numbers there on the speedometer. Yeah, this and is the nice. Center console on the wheel. You wouldn't even know you're looking at a model. I would know because here are uh, this panel this gray panel is so artificially plastic i would know immediately that this is not the real cullinan right now i like here uh the controls of this seat the front seat controls this is nice it's because it's so shiny and precise you've got the little cullinan lighting up there on the door panel here in the back as well we're just going to pop those lights on on the roof not bad I like it, uh, but this blue color uh, here, this uh, light on the ceiling is not that nice. In my opinion, I don't like this blue color there. Roof lights go on, and just to give you an idea of how special this car is, guys, it's this very special. Takes four hundred and fifty man hours to make. That is more than half the required time to make. A full size colonnade. Then I would prefer the that full is size. How intricate and special this car is. Now let me show you around the back. Here. It's a very special model. I'm just going to put this up again here. Oh, look at this button here. Oh, this little button here. Oh, okay, it's just a regular button. Imagine hand painting all of this. Pop this down. And okay. then I'm going to turn on the hazards. Hazards go on. It's so. Nice and pretty. All these little LED lights. Yeah, I like the LED lights here when it's on. Look at that. It's all this texture here. This is amazing. I like it so much. I also like the uh, panel gaps that are so small. Yeah, relatively, of course. So maybe it's like three millimeters. It's not that bad. Just Exhausts are nice. And here uh, the license plate and you have two more uh, lights above. Again, blue. I don't know why everything is blue. I don't even think this is uh, street legal or, you know, the regulation, especially here in the European Union, says it has to be yellow, not blue. The parking? Ah, oh, the parking lights. Parking light here is nice. It's red. And I like also this texture in the rear window and all those stripes here for heating uh, the glass. So cool. Yeah, I also like here uh, this small uh, side light or turning light with this logo. Look at that, beautiful. As I already said, the wheels are also perfect. Wow. So my ending words, this is one of the greatest models I have ever seen. Unfortunately, I'm not able to see it myself, so I only had to view it via other channels like this video, which says that it's the world's most expensive toy car, which actually it's not. But it doesn't change anything, like it's still so beautiful and nice. Not that expensive, but of course, very beautiful. I love it look at it one more last time now when it's open it's one to eight and uh it's really so beautiful cullinan okay so thank you guys for watching i see you next time and until then bye bye